Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will discuss about a horse kicked rider. He is the MCQ. A 30 year old horse rider was brought to the emergency department by ambulance after a kick from a horse to his chest at a race. His blood pressure is 80 by 40, respiratory rate is 40 per minute and saturation is 88. He has bruises on his chest and the chest wall is not moving symmetrically. He has labored breathing, axillary muscle loose and fluctuates in and out of consciousness. So we asked about what is the most appropriate initial action. Here we are given option A, intravenous fluid infusion, B, chest x-ray, C, regional anesthesia, D, transfer to ICU, E, intubation and ventilation. I hope now you have watched my MCQ series so far. So the first step we are doing is identify and underlying the main keywords in the MCQ. So what are the main keywords here? Here I have highlighted the main keywords. It's a kick from a horse to his chest. It's a very important point. And blood pressure is 80 by 40. Respiratory rate is 40 per minute and saturation is 88%. All these are important findings. There are some important hints that directs us towards the diagnosis. His chest wall is not moving symmetrically. Labored breathing, axillary muscle use, fluctuates in and out of consciousness. All these points are very important for us to come to a diagnosis. So this is a very classical history and it's not a difficult MCQ. And I think uh, with these findings and all the examination findings and all the points given, I think you can come to a diagnosis. Yes, the diagnosis is pale chest. It's a flail chest. Flail chest occurs when three or more ribs are broken at two or more places. This picture illustrates about a flail chest. This is a flail segment and when the patient inspires or breathes in, the segment moves inwards and it draws towards the chest cavity due to pressure and the patient expires, the segment it draws outwards. So this is the paradoxical breathing. This is the uh, thing that happens in flail chest. So when there is a direct blow to the chest, it may result in a localized disruption in the integrity of the rib cage. Also most commonly, Double fractures of the ribs result in a section of chest wall which cannot resist the pressure gradient generated during breathing. So the ultimate result is paradoxical breathing. So that's what I showed you in the previous picture. And what happens in paradoxical respiration is the flail segment is drawn in during inspiration and pushed out during expiration. Also, the loss of tidal volume of lungs, it may precipitate to respiratory failure. So this is a fatal condition and it's a medical emergency. And in a case scenario like this, always remember your ABC, airway breathing circulation. And here patient is hypoxic in shock and has increased respiratory rate which may lead towards respiratory failure. In practical situations, high flow oxygen, venous access and analgesia are all given simultaneously but for the examination purposes we need to know the facts step by step. So the management, the first step should be secure airway and high flow oxygen. In this aspect, endotracheal intubation and positive pressure ventilation is given if the patient is hypoxic. Also venous access and intercostal block anesthesia can be given. So. In cases like flail chest, that may require intubation with a double lumen tracheal tube. This is a double lumen endotracheal tube. So each lumen may be connected to a different ventilator. And with the flail chest, one side of the chest is affected more than the other. Therefore, each lung requires different pressure and flows to adequately ventilate the lungs. That's an extra point. Let's see our MCQ. So the option A is intravenous fluid infusion. Of course, IV fluid should be given since the patient is in shock, but it's not the initial step of management. Chest X-ray that also should be taken, but not the first step. Regional anesthesia and transfer to ICU. These are all necessary steps of management, but once the patient is stabilized. So these four answers are these are correct, but not the initial actions for this patient. So the correct answer is intubation and ventilation. I hope you understood this MCQ. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more important MCQ case discussions like this. We'll meet from another question.